Cool, the next area of adapting and relating we're going to talk about is customers. Now there are different type of customers, but we're just going to look at three generic types. So the first one is a bull, the next is a peacock, and lastly there's the owl. Now characteristics of a bull obviously is that they're aggressive. in the face and to the point. So the type of customers that you might have that fall under that are maybe you got tradies maybe, obviously a bit more of the, the lad lads, the tradies. You might obviously have business people. Business men and women are sometimes a little bit more to the point, maybe if they're in management and stuff they'll like kind of get to the point. Cool. And those are the types of customers that you might fall under ball. And the peacock, these are the know-it-alls. Because they're the show-offs. Like a peacock, obviously, always spreading its uh, feathers and obviously showing off. That's their kind of a peacock. It's a, they're a know-it-all. So the type of customers you might have here, people that work in the field. So if you're talking about children's hospital, people that work around nursing and stuff like that, blind foundation, people that know someone, they might fall into that category. Uh, feel the work, or you might have someone that's supported in the past, maybe old supporters, or or just someone that's a little bit of a fucking know it all, that thinks they know everything and they actually don't. All right, cool. People that read the news or they read stuff.co.nz and they think they know what they're talking about. And owls. So owls, obviously, shy, timid, a bit like the the old owl, like tweet, 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 a little bit quiet, a little bit shy, a little bit more timid. All right. So the type of customers you might have here, maybe a uh, more elderly. Maybe the more, maybe people that don't deal in customer service circles, so maybe people that just, maybe IT sometimes, obviously just generic IT sometimes. Uh, people fall into that segment when they don't have to deal with customers, sometimes they can be a little bit shy. Uh, so anyone that's kind of shy uh, and timid can fall into that. So adapting and relating though is not just talking about which customers are, it's how to adapt and relate to that customer. So how we can adapt and relate to balls is by mirroring them. Mirror their body language and their tonality. This is actually going to fall under every single one. Mirror and mirror. If you mirror customers, people are instantly going to like you anyway, which we'll talk about in the next segment. But mirroring body language and tonality, if you get an aggressive customer, someone's a bit in your face, cool, what do you want, what's on the point? As soon as you start speeding up, it shows that they've got the authority and you get a little bit nervous. So stay nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed and nice and loud as well. Relaxed and loud obviously shows that you're going to mirror their body language and tone. That shows that you're actually going to show that you're an expert and that you're in control of that situation. If you get anyone that is, oh, so what is it? What do you want? You just go, cool, man. I'll keep it to the point. My name's, and then just continue. Yeah, if you're nice and loud and it shows that you're not phased by it, normally they're like, okay, fair enough. I like this person. The peacocks, what you want to do, I do the arrows of up, down, and up. So what it is, is it's feeding their ego a little bit. So you go, oh, cool, you know about that. So it feeds them up a little bit. And then maybe ask them a question like, do you know how many kids are coming through the hospital every year? Yeah, so you throw down the question and you know they're not probably going to know the answer to. Then they might go, oh, is it 200? And then you want to pick them back up and go, nah, it's not actually 200. But not a bad guess, uh, but it's actually, yeah, real close. So I can see what you're thinking. It's actually 110. So you build them back up. So what you do is just knock their ego down to build them back up. And obviously what you do is feed the ego as well. Feed the ego, so you can always go, someone like yourself definitely knows that type of support, yeah? Someone like yourself, someone like yourself, you'll definitely know, you'll definitely know. And lastly, with owls, obviously you want to mirror them to be shy. What you want to be is nice and calm. You don't want to frighten them by jumping up and being too assumptive. Be nice and relaxed, nice and calm. Walk them through the process and take it nice and easy so you can see actually what they're actually helping out with. And that's adapting, relating to three different types of customers.